waterways get them out more very quickly. Love saying if water for a park's not an option for you, turn it into it twice. It looks good if you like doing this. See round roof? Watch right. Continue. Yep. Thank you. So yeah, um, it's really odd that when I'm uh, filming a or documenting a police stop, I know the actual cops and the person they're stopping. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's Officer Taylor, and I've dealt with him quite a few times. I just noticed there's some officers that came up behind me while I was walking over to document. Hey, how are you? How you doing? Oh, sure. Sorry about that. <laughs> Guess the guy works for Multnomah County Sheriff's. The sidekick. Actually, no, they're not. That's not a Multnomah County Sheriff. It says sheriff on his back. Right. Is he from some other county? Walk up. Why? Because I think he clacked them us. They might be doing some kind of cross training type thing. I might ask Officer Taylor. Good night, Officer Taylor. <laughs> this is Mike Bluehair reporting for Film the Police Portland. There are two officers that kind of crept up behind me just now when I was observing Officer Taylor stop the guy on the bicycle or walking around Portland. And me and Bob have decided to let them get a taste of what it feels like to have someone follow up behind you. So Bob has decided to uh, go and engage them in conversation and I'll just document from back here. Oh, with the song? Yeah. So, Bob, are you satisfied with your customer service experience? Oh, hell no. No, when you, when you asked where they were from, were they rude to you, Bob? Of course they were. Did that hurt your feelings, Bob? Of course it did. Oh, I'm sorry, brother. Especially when the sheriff's from Lynn County. Right, right. Take note on the video footage that we're following these guys, and we have uh, 17 seconds left to get across the crosswalk. Four seconds. Three seconds. Oh, one second. I better. Oh, I just made it off the side, uh, off the road. Take note yet again, I am still walking through a green crosswalk, observing my employees work. These guys are doing a wonderful job too. I am very impressed by these uh, professional law enforcement officers that uh, Bob and I are observing. Well, I, I'm pretty sure that's called weapon retention. That's normal. So we don't have to freak out and be, be scared of him. Oh, he's just no. doing what he's trained to do. Yeah. <laughs> but the other one has his hand a long ways away from it. Well, yeah, but you know, I mean, different strokes for different folks. Yeah. So we're just curious, why are you guys here, like... Normally we're used to seeing our Portland cops and I'm just confused a little bit. 
Because you won't answer my question. You're not allowed no. to answer No, no, questions. he's not. You, you, you're absolutely right, officer, but I was just being polite and asking you, you know, not why are Albany cops here? Not I'm not. Nope. So, have I said anything rude to you, sir? Following you around and telling me, I don't appreciate it, but that's your right to do so. Thank you for reiterating my First Amendment right. I appreciate you respecting that, officer. Am I right not to answer your question? Right? Of course it is. <laughs> okay, then we both respect each other's First Amendment right. Sure. I'll make sure that I give you all the room to work that, that you feel necessary. And if you need me to take a couple steps back when you're working, just let me know and I will get out of your way. I will, but you're fine right now. Thank you, sir. <laughs> so I'm curious, but do you guys ever have people film you in Albany? Does that happen? Yeah, okay. Right on. Is there like an organized group like like the one here in Portland? No. All right, on. I respect the job you do. I mean, if you want to go to Mike Blue here on YouTube, you can see plenty of plenty of videos that I've shot, thanking officers and telling them that I appreciate the work that they're doing. It just depends on what they've been doing. I, I believe that. I believe you guys are, uh, the majority of cops that have, I've met actually doing this are well-intentioned and they're trying to, you know, help ma maintain a safe society and I appreciate that kind of thing. Uh, kind of hard to be sneaky about it with stuff that people following you with video camera talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> criminals aren't just going to come up and do it. So that's probably when you fuck people. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, over there in Albany, they probably don't have too many criminals. Well, I don't even know anything about that community, Bob. What's Albany like? Well, the, just about the only thing there is a paper factory. What's no, the pop? Behind the times, because it's been closed for quite a while. Uh, uh, is there a is there a large population there? Is it really small, Bob? I think it's pretty small. No, well, I'm, I'm asking you if you feel oh, like me? speaking. Yeah. yeah. There's uh, over 50,000 people over there. All right, on. It's not like one point something million, but it is big town to me. Right on. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I, I'm tired of following you guys, and, and thanks for being good sports. Right. Oh, yeah. This is, Have a good night. Yeah, yeah man, this Have is Mike Blue Hair signing off for Film the Police Portland.